when the present administration took over the state on May 29, 1999, there were many confronting the administration. What with the bad words, refuse all over the place in the state. The most important aspect was transportation in Lagos. The social service was terribly in confusion. The economy of the state to almost a halt. were often lost as a result of the neck. effect of this problem on the state's socio-economic should this societal phenomenon considering the fact that the state still remains allowing such a suffocating transportation system to run as a threat invariably meant killing the nation gradually it was such a staggering reality into taking a drastic action. Of a carefully crafted, it's a totally overhauling state of since inception. We met with a chaotic situation on ground and the necessary antidote was to put in something very, very impactful. So we started from zero tolerance, no abandonment of everyone, knowing this military package, everything. But with time, our people started changing positively. And the more to change, the more our own shock has over to widens. And now we are about almost 30% uh, to the end of the, our 100% tolerance level. We are 70 people. Relax now because we know, for example, if we find somebody's vehicle on the road now, it's not that the man is not cautious, it's just that he's looking desperately to find a way of removing it. So, we are very, very we've mellowed down because of that. Because they are not interested in money. The essence of last month is not money. And we've been saying this categorically, we are not interested in the money. In fact, the amount we put into last month is a far cry from what we realized from last month. Is it their salary we want to talk about? The equipment. Two equipment that you see outside there now, the recovery equipment costs over 100 and something million. The two of them. Where are they going to find it outside there? But what we are interested in is compliance with basic traffic rules and regulations. Once that is compliance, that is our own mileage. That is what we are happy with. And that's why I could say gladly that you are, people don't park in this mentally. Before, you can't go through a Pebby Island. A lot of them who have a park all over the place to even go. But now, I tell you, you can't find a Google car on the road. Properly, that's not the way properly. And that's what we are interested in. So we started from that level and we've been moving in that direction. And our, our tolerance level has increased. We can accommodate a lot of nuisances now. And by the time our people are properly enlightened and they know what to do, I bet you that will not be like that. But for other areas, there are some they may call it themselves. Meet on level. I'm not using the area of Korea. I'm not exorbitant. For example, they may construe as exorbitant free or higher than this at times. It is. 
you as a vehicle owner, you are expected to have vehicle license. You are expected to have driver's license. For example, if your car is over five years, the law says you must have MOT. We have so many characters out there. They don't have driver's license, they don't have vehicle license, no MOT, even though the car is about 10 years old, they don't have all these things. This is a legal state. In this state alone, we have over 5% of all the vehicles in Nigeria. The land or the roads are quite limited. The pressures is there on the road. People are always moving. Now, apart from the 40 to 45 percent of the vehicular contents in this country being situated in Lagos, on the average, not less than half a million vehicles will come into Lagos a day from other states and will go back. Apart from those who regularly transverse Lagos roads on a daily basis. And they will make bold to say that we're all out to deal, at least to make sure that when all these vehicles move, we make sure that they get to their destination as soon as possible. But then, what prompted us to jack up the price or the fines on uh, driving on the driving against uh, traffic? One, it got to a stage when people were being unnecessarily killed by those who drove against traffic, one. Two, that some people just decided to be unnecessarily impatient. In a city like Lagos, where the roads are interwoven, obviously when there is an accident or a breakdown, we expect traffic to be momentarily halted. And we believe authorities should be patient enough, 20, 30 minutes, for such blockages, accidents, or impediments to be cleared. One thing we know is that um, when there is an accident, our response time to such accident is very high. Two, when there is a breakdown anywhere within the metropolis, our response time is also very high. Our communication network is superb to the extent that once it happens, within five minutes, we get to, the, we get to know and we are there. And once we are there, we begin to clear. We believe Lagosians are aware of this fact. We understand that if there's a momentary stoppage, we expect them to be patient. Knowing fully well that last month at the other end, trying to clear whatever impediments. But what happens? The moment that happens, people begin to drive against traffic. It does not only stop at that. We go to some parts of the state as early as 6 a.m. when the roads are even free, people are driving against traffic. As late as 10 p.m., 11 p.m., when the roads are free, we drive against traffic when there's no reason for it. So we have two problems in our hands to save lives for those who have been prematurely killed by this bad habit. Two, to make sure that we do not enlarge the crowd of these people who have imbibed these bad habits. Because if we do not go out to discourage it, if we do not go out to enforce no driving against traffic, the crowd will be enlarged. And it will appear as if those who drive against traffic are being encouraged, or they are being tolerated, or they are being overlooked to continue their bad habits. So we will be able to appreciate the fact that there are some people that Come rain, come sunshine, they will conform. And once we know we have such people, we need to encourage them to continue to behave that way. So we came out with this order that the punishment be fine for it should go up to twenty five thousand naira. In a society where the level of indiscipline and disrespect for basic law is considered rather high one does not expect LASMA to have an easy task. In their attempts to discharge their duties, officers are often attacked and brutalized, which at times leave serious wounds or lacrations on officers. The LASMA officers also have to contend with intimidation and harassment if they are above the law. On each of these occasions, the calmness, level-headedness, and tenacity of purpose 
exhibited by these officers often pay off. Suffice to say that the present modest achievement already credited to the authority was made possible by the avowed commitment of the entire LASMA staff to restore sanity into the state's transportation industry. Indeed, it may not be too modest if one gives kudos to the authority for such a remarkable achievement within so such a period of time. In view of this efficiency today, it is definitely no exaggeration if one submits that when last mass sneezes, the entire state's road transportation system catches cold. We have seen some of my officers who have become victims of attack. We have become victims of attack from all classes of um, motorists. We have to share the dangers involved in the performance of our duties. Despite the fact that we are being maimed, despite the fact that we are being harassed, uh, our men still remain undaunted in this fight. You see, that's so we are ready to wait for this state and by extension for this country. Uh, we are being brutalized, no doubt about that. But then we have a package with which we proudly accommodate such harassment, such meaning, such uh, injuries that our men sustain. Um, it's just like soldiers who go to war. Soldiers know that when they go to war, some of the, not some of them will return. But all the same, when enlistment is about to take place, you still find people enlisting for a job that they know that it's a game of either you win or you lose. So in our own case, we know we can't continue in this without sustaining some injuries. Fortunately, none of us has been killed in the process. But then, and at the same time, quite a few have been permanently incapacitated. So we still thank God. We are able to still accommodate them, to still join us in the performance of their duties. But all the same, we still waging the battle, and in spite of the harassment and the injuries we sustain in the process, we remain undaunted and we still waging the we still go ahead with the battle. In a state where there is over 4 to 5 percent of all the vehicles in Nigeria, where 6.8 percent tankers or big vehicles break down daily, and over 200 vehicles per square kilometers, as LASMA carries out its duties, offenders may often complain about LASMA's high-handedness, particularly with reference to the fees normally charged for each traffic offenses. However, what is still baffling is that, in spite of these fees and the authorities' continuous affirmation of its resolution to put a stop to all forms of traffic offenses, disobeying simple traffic rules still persists among many private and commercial drivers. In fact, recent studies show that incidents of motorists facing a one-way traffic continue to persist on a rather large scale. Without doubt, undertaking such a big risk is flagrant disregard for the safety of the other road users, including the attempts so far made by LASMA to discourage such occurrences should be very disturbing. As a result, the authority, in demonstration of its not to be caught on our way attitude, again responded recently by new sets of rules. First of all, Motorists caught violating one-way traffic rules are charged 25,000 Naira and following internationally accepted practice, he is referred to a psychiatrist for medical attention or advice. Indeed, it should be noted that a psychiatric test in the developed world is a compulsory precondition for all motorists. This allows for ascertaining mental alertness in all motorists as well as ensuring that all motorists are mentally capable of coping with the rigors of driving in a busy state as Lagos. ...worldwide that um, in this age and time, will be drivers need to be subjected to psychiatric examination to make sure they pass. Because there are a lot of psychiatric problems that will not strongly manifest themselves to the open eye. What we do simply for people to go for eye tests are the best. 
which I don't think is being rigorously followed in Nigeria. But then, in some parts of the world, what we are doing is being welcomed in the sense that we are trying to restore sanity. We are trying to probably tell Nigerians that you can't just behave the way you like, and that if you behave the way you like, in ways not consistent with the norms of the land, with the norms worldwide, then you have to be sent for psychiatric analysis. So you can be allowed to come back to the road. But won't this create an image problem, not only for LASMA authority, but also for the state? Furthermore, consistent with his desire to always keep the officers abreast of the new policy as well as prepare them for its effective implementation in order to shape the behavior of road offenders without using drugs. The authority organized a psychiatric seminar for some of its officials where numerous advantages and the new policy were unveiled. So it is extremely important, apart from it is the general attitude. I've been passing this road, which is psychological also, difficult, you know, to accept that. And you know that our mind controls the whole body system. It was one of these international magazines that if not, our papa man, so we say, you see, if you are no man, how can you drive this way? Do you think of other road users? But then, where do we go from there? You know, uh, they believe that there is relationship between some psychological conditions and some psychiatric conditions and driving. There is some um, improvement in the way people drive now and the world goes round and people are very careful in their driving and you can see the effect of it in the reduction of in Lagos. Don't, don't forget that it's only a very small percentage of the people that have psychiatric disorder. So you should not expect that we should pick up a big percentage of people who are, who are ill. It's a small percentage, and out of this small percentage, it's only a very a smaller percentage still that are uh, even severely ill enough as to, for us to be unable to try. And it's not all of them that are sent to the hospital that are mentally ill, that have psychiatric conditions. It's just to evaluate, to find out. And because they send them to psychiatric hospital does not mean that last month people is saying that they are ill or they have psychiatric illness. Without sounding too immodest, there is no doubt that the present rules and regulations will further lead to stronger compliance with traffic rules and regulations in the state. One may therefore wish to recommend that such seminars be extended to other members of the public, particularly motorists and other stakeholders in the transport industry, so as to integrate them into last month's progressive drive towards an efficient and properly run transport industry. As part of its success stay, LASMA has also had to acquire heavy duty towing equipment which facilitates broken down vehicles or trucks that inhibit smooth traffic. This, according to the Chief Executive Officer, has not been easy. And if not for continuous government and corporate assistance, LASMA's efficiency might have been greatly impaired. So, so to, with our equipment, yes, we are fairly okay. But then we want to go more than, um, we want to acquire more. The government has tried, but don't forget there are a lot of um, competing factors. The government is further to, to roll. But we are happy that the government, from time to time, appreciates what we are doing and they give us some concession. We want to go out to solicit for assistance from members of the public whom, whose lives we have touched whom we assist in making sure that they don't waste unnecessary time on the highway, either directly in terms of their own personnel, but, and all of those who also render services, factory workers, 
industries who move a lot of raw materials and finished products 